Pipeline politics have been simmering near the surface for months now, but CBC News has learned that the federal government is about to bring it to a full boil. Our national affairs editor, Chris Hall, is here with the break on the story. Chris. Peter, the Prime Minister has these pipe dreams when it comes to promoting Canada's oil industry, and now he's taking new steps to make them a reality. The federal government is making a new push in British Columbia, where protests pipeline! No! Pipeline! No! and more protests no! define Enbridge's proposed northern gateway and the planned expansion of Kinder Morgan's Trans Mountain Pipeline. First Nations. Sources tell CBC News the Prime Minister's special representative on pipeline issues, Douglas Eiford, reported last month that discussions with First Nations are stalled. So Stephen Harper is dispatching wave after wave of senior cabinet ministers to meet with them. Joe Oliver, the Natural Resources Minister, Environment Minister Leona Agluka, Aboriginal Affairs Minister Bernard Valcour, and others. This First Nations leader said he got a surprise request from Oliver just today. A letter asking to sit down with B.C. chiefs, saying Eifert's discussions with them highlighted the importance of engagement between senior government officials and First Nations. So I have a, a sinking feeling that uh, perhaps they're covering their backsides in terms of a consultation. Federal officials insist they are coming to listen, but underscore the proposed pipelines are crucial to the government's effort to export more oil out of landlocked Alberta to Asian markets. The head of Kinder Morgan, Ian Anderson, says the federal government needs to engage British Columbians. I think they're doing that. I think they're, they're defining process. This is the second front in the Prime Minister's efforts to pump up stalled pipeline proposals. As we first reported, Harper wrote Barack Obama to propose joint strategies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, a concession intended to win the president's approval for the Keystone XL pipeline. Peter? All right, Chris, thank you. Chris Hall in Ottawa tonight.